So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Episode, what, seven? Possibly, uh, of the career mode. We are back today. We're ready to roll. I've officially got the controller USB'd in now. So there will be no complaints, hopefully. Touch wood. That's right. Touch wood. There will be no complaints today regarding the team feeling pants. All right. So we're taking on the Gunners once again, this time we're in the Carabao Cup. And then after that, I think we're taking on Fulham. Uh, we also do have to, once again, I, uh, also, I don't know if you guys have had this problem on the PS5, but FIFA 23, for some reason, every now and then decides that it wants to um, reset all my personal settings as the missus has given me a call while I'm in the middle of recording. Hang on. All right. She was just telling me a bunch of military things going off. She's like, oh, there's planes flying around. So I'm like, oh, fascinating stuff. I'm trying to do a video. Uh, anyway, sorry, we're not taking on Fulham. We took them on the last match, didn't we? Yes, and we won. One goals to nil. So what we're going to be doing is taking on the Gunners, right? Carabao Cup. After that, we're taking on Brighton. We've already done this technically, so I'm going to make that 1-1 one, one, like it was in the... Uh, the matches we've already played. And then we're going back to the Europa League, taking on AEK. So there we go. We've got some European action today. Uh, also, regarding the last video, uh, apologies if it was a little bit loud. Um, and also, my green screen needs to be moved. Uh, it was a little bit loud because I forgot to change the channels. So now I can adjust the audio. Lovely. Right, let me fix the green screen. God, we'll get this going in a minute. All right, so we've got a few things going on. A player has been injured. Malassi is out for five days. Okay, with a bruised elbow. Couldn't you just fight through a bruised elbow? I mean, you don't use your arms that much in a game. I would have been like, all right, it's just a bruised elbow. Uh, Luke Shaw says, I know Malassi is fit again, boss, but I hope I've done enough to stay in the side. But I like to just make sure everyone is very happy. Um, yes, you've shown real potential. Um, it's okay, shorty. We will let you play possibly. Uh, Malassia says, I'm feeling pretty fit. Well, hey, uh, definitely ready to play. Hope you're not planning to put someone else in. Well, number one, dash my own decisions, okay? Ridiculous. Uh, that shalong belongs to you. That shalong belongs to you. Well, I hope so. Uh, that shirt. Um, you know how important you are to us? Hmm. I'm just going to put that one. Yes, I don't want to wait too long to have you available again. But remember, there's other players on the team. Malassia. Uh, next, uh, just wondering, boss, have I got any chance of being involved in our next game? <sighs> Taking on Arsenal, I might give Alanga a chance. I'll think about it. Okay, yes, I've, I haven't decided on the team, uh, but I'll keep you uh, in my mind for the next match. Beautiful. All right, lovely. That's out of the way. All right, folks, let's dive into this. I'm not going to do uh, a pre-match conference. Couldn't care less. See, look, it's showing me all the same stuff because... I don't know, FIFA 23 has been the right pain in the backside and it just doesn't want to save stuff. So I think we will start in Langer today. I'm going to I'm gonna let him start. We'll start on the left. I'm not really fast about that. What's his uh, sharpness? 76? Yeah, it's not too shabby. Do we want to start Sancho? Do we want to put him on the bench? We'll put him on the bench instead of... Hmm. Instead of Martial, to be honest. Uh, Malassia or Shaw? You know what? I will start Luke Shaw, because why not? Although we could start as a right mid. Nah, that'll do. Also, regarding tactics, I'm trying this one out. Slow build up, but forward runs. Also, also, folks, we are using an updated version 7 of the sliders, all right? So, as you can see, and I think I will start leaving timestamps for these. If you purely just want to see the games, I'm going to timestamp it. Some of you like listening to me waffle. Some of you don't. Whatever works, uh, but I will put timestamps. These are all the same. Uh, but the actual game setting, slow, slow. So this is what we're playing on, version 7 of Mac 10. We've slowed it down a little bit more, uh, but the game should still feel much better on the PS5. The acceleration has gone down to 48, sprint speed's 5. Uh, and then the only other things that really changed, we put the run frequency all the way down to 10. Not really a problem because I'm asking the players to make runs. If you don't ask them to make runs, they're not going to make them. Uh, and then the CPU is also in 10, but, you know, we'll change them accordingly. I like to update my sliders, keep things relevant. Uh, but anyway, enough of the spiel. Let's dive into this. The Carabao Cup taken on the Gunners. Can we get through? I hope so. Let's do it. 
So here we are, Old Trafford, live. I really do hate having the camera here. It's a bit of a pain, but it is what it is. Uh, but it is rainy. It is rainy. I wish you didn't know the, the, the actual weather before you kick off. You know, I know it says random, but it's not that random when you tell me already before the match started what it's going to be. Like, just randomise the weather. Maybe it will rain. Maybe it will snow. Maybe it will be sunny. I don't know. You know, that's the luxury of it. Also, enjoy the hair. This is getting trimmed uh, next week. So, yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy that. Anyway, here we go. We are off and running. Uh, I have zoomed the camera out a little bit. Oh, sorry, I've zoomed it in. I know someone said it was a bit too far away in the last match. It also depends on the stadium, folks. Okay, Old Trafford is a lot more zoomed in. Whereas if you're playing somewhere else, you know, like Stamford Bridge might be zoomed out more. So you kind of have to play around um, with the settings as well to get a good flavor. But today... We are going to make sure we do play some very nice football. Nice touch there from Anthony Ref. Is that a handball to us, to them? I don't know. But there's Bruno Fernandes. 152 pounds. Wow, he's very light. I weigh about 175, but I do like to eat the pork pies. A little bit too much. Right, here we go. Well done, Casemiro. Another foul. I think that's our ball. All right. All right, come on, lads. Let's play the let's play the possession. Here we go. Anthony squares it nicely done, but the one-two wasn't on. We need that early goal in this game. I feel we get an early goal. Arsenal is going to come out the shell, and they're obviously going to probably try and score a few goals. And this is a chance here for Gabriel Jesus. No one's there, and we can't get caught like that. That's that's woeful defending, and that's a good clearance away. But we're on the uh, the back foot here. Very much like the game we took on Arsenal a few matches ago. They're all over us for um, pretty much most of the game. We can't be doing that there. Wake up, please, boys. Okay, Gabriel Jesus and David De Gea. Took a second bite at it, but managed to do the business. All right, you know what we are going to do? We're going to play attacking. Attacking, 4-3-3. Mix it up a little bit. Instead of playing a 4-5-1. We need to get those players forward. And we also need to just ping this about. Dictate the play. Right, come to me, Alanga. We're going to play a 1-2. That's a dreadful pass. Absolute dreadful pass, but Arsenal's given it back to us. And now Luke Shaw is going to swing it all the way around to Anthony. Lovely little flick. Here we go. Dallow. Look for Bruno. That's the ball. Fernandez. Oh, Saliba did brilliantly well there to deny that finish. Good defending. It had to be. Come on, lads. The passing. I know I said I wasn't going to complain today, but that's just me. Just me being very poor on the ball. Oh, here we go. This is it. High pressure. Elanga, go on. Get there. Oh, you've missed it. Odegaard. Space down the right flank here. Gabriel Jesus. Now win it. Oh, Martinez got the wrong side. Odegaard hasn't got the best left foot. So, or right foot. So, I'm not too concerned about it. David De Gea did enough. And we can bring this one forward. We are playing woeful, lads. Come on. I, I, we're going to have a bit of a spurge, uh, I feel, in the second half. Why didn't you just pick that up? I don't know. All right, Casemiro. Flick it. Anthony. All right, we're going to start playing now. Come on, Bruno. Varane decides to get in his way. Martinez. I need to remember that, you know, you're playing on manual. You have the ability to put the ball into space. And a lot of the times I forget about it. And that's my own fault. All right, Luke Short. Anthony is available, and that is the beautiful switch you're ever going to see. Anthony, there's a Langer. Oh, what a header. The power headers on this game. Comedy gold. It's like a bullet. But this was a really good save from the goalie. Ramsdale in full effect, and Ten Hag says, yes, what a team. We need to pick it up once again. Yes, I know how to take corners, but because the game's mental, I have to do it again. Right, we are going to absolutely whip this one in. Full pelt. Ericsson, that's a lovely ball. And oh my gosh, what a save that is. It's point blank. It looks like Ramsdale's come to play today. All right, you know what we're going to do? We are going to chip this. Uh, we're going to whip it in. Yeah, about that. There we go. Ericsson says, calm it down. That's not a bad ball in again. You get someone ahead of the goalie there. And I'm telling you, that's a goal. 
Go on, Luke Shaw. Got to do better than that. I don't really want to pull Martinez out, so Luke Shaw's going to come back into the mix. I've also turned off next player indicator to try and make uh, changing players a little bit better because I still feel like the, the switch of the players in this game can be quite hit and miss. Whether it helps or not, who knows? Chaka, that's nicely done! Well, we're getting chances. I mean, there's chances both ends here. Although Arsenal have looked the better. Another brilliant save from David De Gea. We have the goal. Look at that. Full stretch. We've got the goalies on 60, you know. So at least they're going to make the saves. And here is Saka again. Are they going to try something different this time? Not with Ericsson around. Starts again. Tierney. Oh, one of you. Get on him. Shaka. And there's another volley and another comfortable save for David De Gea. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to turn on the radar if I'm being honest. Okay, that's dreadful. Um, because right now uh, I'm having a harder time of it because I don't know where my players are. It's all right when the camera's zoomed out. But when it isn't, it's a mission. And as you can see, Arsenal just playing some wonderful stuff here. He's got it out wide. Smith Rowe. And that is half time. This is tough, you know, but I, but I want it tough. You know, no one wants to walk through these matches winning willy-nilly, especially against the Gunners. Not seeing enough from Bruno, not seeing enough from the whole team, um, to be honest. So we'll, we'll, we'll mix it up. Okay, here we go. Another 45 minutes to go. Or, well, minimum, because it could go to penalties, actually. I think it goes straight to penalties. Come on, lads. Why is my passing always pants when I'm recording? I play so much better at night time. Maybe I should drink some more. Play better. Anyway, here's Saka. Wants to get it on the left foot. Wants to get it on the right foot. Left foot. Right foot. Close him down. Close him down. Well done, Martinez. Right, now we can go, go, go. But yeah, we've left the same lineup because I still feel like there's more in this team. And we just need to wake up, pull our finger out. Right, Dallow. Anthony. And Dallow's continued the run here. Oh, it was a close one. Handball ref. He has actually given the foul. How do you, um, I don't know why you can't just do the basic things on this game. Switch to like a, a long ball pass. Here is Anthony. Back to Raphael Varane. Space out wide for Ericsson, but he's definitely not all the way over there, is he? Now I've turned on the next player indicator as well because it was doing my head in. No idea who the ball's going to change to next. And that's our ball ref. Thank you very much. Tierney trying to be too cute. Varane. And yeah, I do use R1 and X and R R1 and circle when needed. I mean, it's not always the best thing in the world to do. I wasn't going to do that. I was trying to steal it, not shoot it. Because Ericsson could have took that on there. I didn't know I had it. I didn't know I had the ball. Right, hold him up and I'm going to stay with uh, Saka here. See, I've missed it again. That's what The thing with me is I do go for a lot of the challenges and try and stick my foot in, and then if I do that, that's what happens. David De Gea has been unbelievable for us. He really has. I know he didn't even get selected, did he, in the... Uh, I probably should keep talking into the mic. He didn't get selected for the Spanish side uh, over the World Cup, which is baffling, to be honest. He's still a very, very good goalkeeper. Anyway, Saka, that's more like it. Casemiro just launches it out. Uh, the next time the ball goes off, we're going to make changes. It's going to have to be done. It's not been good enough at all. I mean, no one's had a good game. Absolutely no one. Well done, Bruno. Right, sure, get up the line. Flick it to him. Now square it. Once again, stop sprinting. I have a bad habit of doing that. And then look what happens. We lose the ball. Well, this is our best chance right now of stealing it. Bit of high press. I don't know where they're going. All the way back to Ramsdale. Oh, what a buffoon. And I'm an idiot. And I should have just put it in. I was trying to walk around him. Ramsdale giving us a free gift there. I bet, I, you know what? I felt bad for him. That's why I missed that. Oh, what a Moby. But yeah, I don't really know what he was thinking there. And the referee's going to give a foul. Right, time for some changes. And a lot of them because it's been pure. Right, changes galore. Ronaldo, Sancho, Fred, and Malassia coming on. Uh, Dallo's off. 
uh, Elanga's off, Rashford's off, and uh, Ericsson's off as well. We've got to mix things up. It's not been good enough. It's been diabolical today. Uh, maybe Ronaldo will give us an extra boost in the middle, but yeah, we just we just need to wake up. All right, win that header. There we go. Start again. Sancho, dreadful pass. Oh, Ronaldo could have stolen that. Here is Shaka. Gets it out wide. There you go. That's more like it. Luke Shaw, ah, try to get it out wide. I don't know my decision making today. I don't know. Very, very suspect. But Arsenal, to be fair, have played well. I can't really say they haven't. Ball up the line is going to be on. There it is. And if this goes to penalties, I'm not holding much hope. So we can't, we can't do that. I'm telling you, penalties is not going to work for us. The goalie will save everything. Read you like a book. Here is Cedric. White. He's pinging it about Arsenal. Knocking it about willy-nilly. Gabriel Jesus wants to play it through, but Malassi is there. Now we go. Anthony. He has seen Ronaldo. Come on, Cristiano. Ronaldo's there. Two players on him. And we'll take the corner because it's been our best bet. Even though it's a goal kick. And Arsenal are going to make a change. Inside. It's another poor pass. I need to put more power on them. Come on. Five minutes till the break. I don't know if you guys enjoy watching me get frustrated, but that's basically how these matches go. Uh, especially these games. Oh, here we go. No. Oh, well done, Martin. I'm just trying to hold a line. If, if I can't score, at least defend. No. I was going to play it. Then I said no. And now Jaden Sancho may have the legs here. No, he hasn't got any legs. He's lost all his legs, but he has done well to win it back. And here we go now with a chance for Fred. Oh, Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. <sighs> so we're into the final minute. It's going to go to penalties. <sighs> I can't believe this. It's been an absolute waste of time. I've done all this for nothing because I know the penalties aren't going to go well. We had our chance earlier with Bruno and I'm, I fluffed it. So I felt bad for them. And it's just not good enough. Bruno. Oh, that was the idea. That was the idea. Oh, go on. Go on, Freddy. Chance here for Tierney to bring it forward. Fallen on the turf. Manages to keep it, though. We just haven't looked good going forward. You know, they've had plenty of chances, obviously, the other end of the field. But going forward has just been woeful. And there's the full-time whistle. Oh, Freddy, Freddy Jumberg. What's he doing there? Anyway, I'll see you guys in a sec, folks. We're doing penalties. <sighs> Pray for us. Pray for us, because I know they're going to know where we're going. So we're going to have to save them and hope De Gea does the business. <sighs> all right, here we go. We need a good start here, and I normally miss them all the time. Well, I'm not going full power either, that way. I pressed left. I pressed left. I didn't ask you to shoot it down the middle, Bruno. <sighs> I mean, you see Ronaldo takes about Fortnite with his. Well, look at that. Beautiful. All right, come on. We need to make a save here. Oh, well. I know. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't holding much hope for this. I really wasn't. Because there it is. You know the goalie's going to save it. It's so programmed and scripted. And they're going always the same way. Next time, I'll go that way. Oh, well. What a disaster that was, folks. Absolute disaster. There you go. Saved it again. There's no point. There's no point in penalties in this game because the referees, not the refs, the, they, know, they know where it's going. So I'm annoyed. Right, move on. Forget it. I don't want to see this. All right, folks. So we're out of the Carabao Cup. You know what? Good riddance because I don't want to worry about winning that silly Mickey Mouse Cup anyway. Pathetic. So anyway, we're going to move on. Uh, we're just going to take on Brighton real quickly. And basically, yes, we know how to do training. It's wonderful. Uh, so we're just going to take Brighton on. I'm going to make that 1-1 just like it was in the, uh, the, the matches we've already played against them. And then after that, we're heading back to the Europa League. So I will see you guys in just a second once I've done all that. And then I'll show you the standings. All right, folks. So we are done. All right. I played Brighton. It was a wonderful 1-1. So boring. Honestly, three-minute halves seem like they go on forever. Uh, but let's have a look at the standings right now. This is the Europa League. So, you know, whatever. AEK Athens did win their first match. So, 
you know, we'd like to win, obviously. Uh, but if we have a look at the Premier League table, we're lying in eighth place right now. Six games played. We haven't lost a game yet. Did we lose? Yeah, we did lose to Leeds. So when we play Leeds, I'm going to have to make that a 3-1 defeat. Uh, top of the table right now, Chelsea and Spurs. What's happened there? As if. As if. Six wins out of six. And I know Man City just beat the Liverpool by a goal to nil. Uh, so there we have it. All right, let's just crack on with this, folks. I don't need to just forget these training drills and just press the button so it sims them. But I'm just making sure uh, that all the training drills have been done. So we're going to be taking on the AEK Athens. Mm, do we really care about press, press conferences? Not that much, to be honest. But let's have a look here. Rafael Varane has been developing well, and uh, we're now satisfied. He's reached the physical and technical levels we expect from him. Uh, let's have a look here. Gaffer, it's been really well for us recently. You know I'm happy playing for you. David De Gea would like to talk about contracts. So, um, yeah, let's take a look at that because we'll definitely renew that one. Uh, Malasia was disappointed. Result, but thanks for putting me in. Um, you need time. Yes, you need some time to get back to playing at the 100% because that's what you do. Uh, and Alanga, I feel like I let you down. Well... The whole team let me down, to be honest. They just weren't good enough against the Arsenal. All right. I will see you guys there. It's raining again. I'm not having that. I'm changing the weather. But anyway, we're taking on AEK Athens. I will see you guys there. Let's do this. All right. So here we are. The Wald Stadion. Wald Stadion. Is that legit? But anyway, the second game of the Europa League is about to begin. I'm in a more relaxed sitting position now and I've got the microphone right in my face but maybe I just need to calm myself and relax and there it is Raul Sociedad got a point we got a point against them and uh, Kravoka Kreova I think that's them are they a Cro Croatian team I'm not 100% sure anyway let's dive into this away we go Manchester United attacking from your left to right Oh, sorry, right to left. That's right, right to left from their traditional red kit. Athens from left to right in there, all yellow with the, uh, the old hint of black shorts as well. Uh, but today we've got to be a much better outfit. We've got to possess, we've got to dominate. We are starting Martial, can you believe, instead of Sancho. Ronaldo starts up top as well in head of uh, Rashford. Just haven't been seeing enough uh, from those lads so far this season. All right, Casemiro. Towards Dallo. Anthony. We'll give it back to Dallo then. All right. Referee was going to give a handball for that. Is he still going to give it? Yes, he is going to give it. Sometimes their advantages take a bit too long. Anyway, we've got a chance here. Hmm. Five minutes. Do we go for the specialty? I think we may have to do this. Give this to Ronaldo. And honestly, because he's got the power, 92. What we are going to do is just go full beam like that and swerve it all right go on cristiano here we go this is it it is ronaldo Ooh, needed to be a little bit harder a little bit firmer apparently not as the ball's high floated in casemiro with a wonderful header and now we have got a chance here with anthony and you're not going to catch him go on anthony do this yourself son Anthony says enough is enough. Martial's near post. We're going to go back post. It's Martial and I've completely fluffed it. Bruno couldn't get there. That was a chance. Anthony once again. Big deflection. Could have gone anywhere. Comes back out Casemiro. We're going to line up the full-fledged power shot. I do need to actually change that now so the game stops zooming in. I don't like it when it does that. But anyway, here is Dallo. And you can see Athens very defensive here and that's going to be their game plan. And, uh, yeah, we'll just pass it off the field. So we're going to keep doing what we can. Anthony, for me, definitely a good, fun player to play with. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy Man United bought him. He's, he's looked like such a good player. And here he is again. Cuts back on the left. Then the right. Wonderful play. Who's in there? Back post delivery. And it's Bruno. For some reason, we went for the shot pass. No. Ha, ha. back. Now win it. Beautiful. Oh, no. Not, not, not beautiful because we lost it. Come on, get to him. Well done, Malassia. And we're just going to hoof that one clear. Cristiano Ronaldo might win it, and he has won it. I don't know why you were going to give a foul for that, ref, because there was nothing wrong with it. Oh, and that's a lovely pass through the middle. And David De Gea 
not for the first time this season managing to keep it level well we've got to defend better than that boys wonderful stop look at that fingertips Ooh. come on stay with him they will make mistakes well done Bruno Fernandes options galore Bruno flicks it up Ronaldo and he just couldn't quite get his big head on the end of it come on lads we need a goal here Malassia Martial squares it Ericsson once again though the pass is alright but the uh, the rest of it wasn't Anthony that's more like it Anthony oh, decent attempt with the old weak right foot but not enough conviction on it and Malassia has done absolutely brilliantly there and then the ref decides that's the foul for what? I don't understand it ref anyway there's the next one coming up for you in the next episode we'll be taking on Southampton I don't know if it's at home or not have we no actually have we played Southampton already I don't know if we have we may have and if we have then obviously we're going to skip it right we've got one final go here Ronaldo is absolutely miles offside although the ref says play on and that's going to be half time we've had chances let's be honest they've had one or two uh, but we've got to do better than this Bruno's not well, he we should have scored, shouldn't he? Anyway, let's move into the second half. There he is. All righty, away we go. Another 45 minutes to play. Right, I've, upped the, I've upped the acceleration to 50 again. Honestly, I, I feel like this is too slow for me. And with FIFA, like there's, there's, a, there's a certain element of the game where you, you can't have it too slow because the animations just don't sync up well. Oh, hang on. So I think this way, if there's a little bit more speed about it, the game's going to feel a little bit better. Are we going to concede right off the bat? David De Gea is just full on. At the moment, David De Gea is going to be player of the season. Which, well, realistically is realistic because he has been for many, many... Well, I shouldn't have said anything, should I? Unbelievable. EK Athens take the lead and um, after I've just praised David De Gea he's made an absolute boo-boo what on earth is this for goalkeeping here you can't get beaten from a header like that from there I mean it's a decent header but to get beaten from 12 yards and you're that far away from the corner of it that's disappointing not good enough and we find ourselves <sighs> A goal down. He can't believe it. Can't believe it. All right, folks, we're going to make a change. I haven't seen much from Marcia. I still think his sharpness is off. Uh, we're going to bring on Rashford. Now, we're going to go constant pressure. We are going to push this goal because we need a goal. So um, that's going to be the game plan. But we just need a... You know, my passing is generally better than this. I don't know what's wrong with me, to be honest. We've not been playing well. And uh, it's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. All right, Malassia. 1-2. Rashford. Well, forget the 1-2. Get in the box. Ronaldo, where are you at? Edge of the box. It's not a bad ball. Oh, Casemiro. That's not exactly what I had in mind. And now a chance for Athens. I mean, we may get caught on the break now. That would be my big, biggest worry. Because, yeah, we're going to be pushing more players up there. All right, Dallow. Casemiro, got to get him involved. Got to spring the ball around when we can. And now a chance for Athens. Malassia. I think the PC version was easier. I think I'm coming to terms with that. What's going on here, boys? Well done, Varane. That's more like it. Right, let's get forward. Well, Ronaldo has seen Anthony, who is uh, all alone. Anthony! Oh! That is filthy. Absolutely filthy from Anthony. Points to the heavens. Woo! And says, that'll do, donkey. That'll do. Lovely pass from Ronaldo. And then once he had the pace, was always going to get there. And then the cheeky little finish, the audacity to say to the keeper, how about picking this one out? On his weaker foot as well. Right. Now let's push on. And Ten Hag says, what a team! The ball sprung out to the other side. Dallow's trying to do the splits, I think, there. I don't know what happened there. All right, Anthony. We spoke about he could be the man for us this season. And at the moment, he's proving his worth. 
Go on, Anthony again. Ronaldo's in the box. Anthony's done well. Can keep it alive. And oh, that would have been unbelievable. And oh, that would have been my best manual goal without question. What a volley that was from Bruno. What a chance. So close. Anyway, there's another chance. Ronaldo tries to get up. Keeper's taking claim. So we're going to make three changes. Harry Maguire is coming on. That's right, because Varane's looking tired. And we're going to have to start playing centre-backs more, I feel. And then Fred also comes on. I like Fred on this game, to be honest, because he's quite nimble. A little bit more nippy than the likes of uh, Van der Beek. So that's kind of why I play him in the team more than someone like Van der Beek. But he's definitely going to get his chances. Ronaldo, that's brilliant. That's even more brilliant. Cristiano Ronaldo here. Still going. Oh, some lovely feet up until that point. And now Arejo has got some space ahead of him. Bruno's on the charge. Safi brings it up the line. Good play this from Athens. We haven't seen too much from them. Maguire just holding him up. Delivered near post. Comfortable for Martinez. And uh, Maguire can't keep it alive. Orbelin. Get on him, Anthony. Starts again. Squares it. Arejo. Oh, Harry, Harry, Harry. No, Harry Maguire. <laughs> I shouldn't have put him on. Oh, you having a laugh. I got the wrong side. That's where my defending has to improve. You can't be doing that. Look, right here, look. I got the wrong side of him. I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to dive in. Paid the price. I mean, I love how the ball always goes through the player's feet. And David De Gea not really got a whole lot of hope there at all. And we're 2-1 down. Well, I don't know if we've had so many chances, but we've certainly had attempts. And it's just the defending side of it. Well, we've just messed it up again. Anthony, go. Go on. I need you to make the run, son. All right, who's in there? Once again. Oh, it's not a good ball. It's not a good ball in, Anthony. Oh, you've got no right foot, but you've got to do better than that. The goalie's going to milk a bit of time here. Because for Athens, this is a result and a half for them. I mean, this puts them on six points. Can you believe that? We have just... We're going to really struggle in the Europa League if this is how we play. We really are going to struggle. It's also, I think, why we need another centre forward. We need a proper centre forward. So again, we've got the wrong side of our man here. And because we are pushing players up, this is what's going to happen. Come on, lads. No. Once again, don't let him shoot. This is what I hate when they get the ball in the edge of the box. And they start playing the old ding-dong-doo-da. Mantelos. Come on, Fred. Well done, Fred. And again, and again, and again, Fred. Oh, you've missed it. Now win it short. Uh, he's missed that one. Ooh, come on. Oh, can't concede now because then it's definitely going to be game over. And we're into the final three minutes. And Athens are playing some good stuff. And I don't know where to go with Harry. And Harry does well. Then he forgets where the ball is. And whatever. Just get it out. Just get the ball out. We've lost this game, folks. And I really don't know how. This has not been a good episode. It's been a nightmare of an episode, to be honest. We are going to be putting ourselves in a right predicament. Look at this. Athens just playing it. Just enjoying themselves here. Having some fun. Here they go again. Get it out. And that's going to be all she wrote. The crowd erupts. And the Man United fans will not be happy. Oh dear, oh dear. So in this episode, we got knocked out of the Carabao Cup. And we lost away from home two goals to one. I mean, we could have scored some absolute gems. Like, it is what it is. I'm not even going to get that mad about it because, as I said, we we had chances there. David Ayer had a bit of a blunder. Look at the shot count. Five attempts to ten, and we go home with absolutely nothing. 75, that's what's got to improve. The, the pass accuracy is not good enough. 75%, I'm not having it. And then when you have, what, 51% possession, that was even. We'll do the post-match interview because we will. 
but that's going to be a little bit concerning now, folks, with uh, the future. We've got some questions for you. Have you? Go for it. Uh, taking form and league position into account, you must be disappointed with today's results. Well, yes, I am. I'm very disappointed. Uh, our defending wasn't good enough. I mean, I probably should say that, and I will. And I don't care if they get annoyed. Yes, we worked on defending set plays all week. But uh, once the game kicks off, it's up to the team. And today, the defending was not good enough. Uh, a frustrating defeat. Once you went behind, you never really looked like getting back into the game. Well, I don't think that's true. So I think you're lying to us. That's it, basically. Is she hard to take? Uh, I thought the lads played uh, with a great spirit. They took the game. The problem was we couldn't execute the finish. Uh, AEK Athens were delighted with their result. And why wouldn't they be? Uh, I guess you're frustrated. Yes. Uh, was there just no way past Sidibe? He's good, but so are my lads. No, we need to be sharper. Uh, I just thought the players played a little bit too... What's the word? Mm, pathetic. The yes, thank you. Next. Anyway, folks, that is that for today. We're done and dusted. So when we come back in the next episode, we are going to be taking on... Southampton, I don't think we took them on before. So I believe we should be taking them on. And then after that, we are going to be taking on Aston Villa. Uh, then we've got another Europa League away from home. We have to win that. Uh, because if we don't, then the problems are really going to arise. But let's have a quick look at the standings of the Europa League to see what happened. I'm sure Real Sociedad won their match. Uh, which they they didn't. They didn't. They drew. That helps us out. That does help us out. So we're only one point behind them. We've got to beat 1948. If we win that match, well, then we'll see. But yeah, not a good episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. I know you guys like seeing me frustrated. So there we have it. Anyway, we'll be back shortly. Until next time, subscribe for more and take care.